Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Distant Worlds Universe episode 19. And last time we left off, we've been tangled up in these war, this war here with these three empires and all the other empires raging war. We went through and retrofitted a lot of our military ships to prepare ourselves for building a substantially large assault fleet. And uh, we've got our construction ship going down there. He's going to uh, build the mining station that we had queued up there. What's his range? Okay, so he did upgrade and he's got the uh, much better fuel system. And he's going to refuel. He's refueling right there. Okay, that's fine. I'll just leave him there or doing what he's doing. Probably send him back to the home planet. Um, we've talked about getting these up here. Trade sanctions are imposed on me from the humans. We are imposing trade sanctions against you effective immediately. All trade between our empires is terminated. Goodbye, humans. I don't care about you. Where are you? You have a very large empire. I'm assuming this is you. It is. You have a substantially large empire. You are most certainly winning the game. But you have a lot of people that hate you. And a lot of people that like you too. Including my allies. That is always not good. That is not good at all. Ooh, they've got something nasty going on here. A system is infected. The disease. Oh, I guess it's over. Okay, that was exciting was it lasted. I'm going to keep my eye on this bubble here. You've completed your mission, okay? What do I want to do with this exploration shit? Those are cut off there. That's kind of silly looking. Um, I guess we could try to see if we can get the, hung the uh, Hunger Seeker algorithm put on them. Send them back to our home planet because if he's going to get retrofitted anywhere, that's where it's going to be. Uh, let me go take a look then at our exploration ships. And let's do an auto upgrade. Okay, doesn't seem to have done anything. Manual upgrade. We'll keep it like that. Vision D, because the only thing I want to see is if I can stab a few things on here. Power output's 120. They don't have any weapons. We're looking at a sprint of 50 and 20. So they actually almost have too much. 51, 50, 50. Nope, I'm going to need the second one for the extra power for hyper. I didn't think about that until I took it off. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can stick this on here. I can. I just need more hab in life. And it seemed to have altered my move speed significantly, interestingly enough. Probably because it's so heavy. It's 88 size. Nah, maybe not heavy. It just takes up a lot of energy. But it looks like I'll have enough to power it. So did that affect my... Hyper, it did. But if these guys aren't going to be moving around too much, what if I stick another... Well, it's already 432. And it's already expensive. You know what? They're not going to move around too much. I'm going to stick with that hyper speed. That's going to be fine. I'm going to plop them somewhere and they're kind of just going to sit. Everything else looks good, but they do need more hab in life. Yeah, they're really just going to sit somewhere. So I, I probably want to give them some energy collectors as well. And then, where's the energy collectors? There they are. Yikes. Okay, more having life, I guess. Ah, maybe. Yeah, just put more having life on. I'll take the hit. These guys are going to be pretty important. Well, I'm at war anyways, and then maybe I'll, ch I'll change it back to exploration ships probably after the war or something. I don't know. I really don't know how I want to do it thinking about changing the name for now, but I'll just leave it. Now, it's not even a revision D. It's a whole completely different revision. Yep. And we'll grab up our exploration ship. We've got him coming in. Yeah, it's going to take him a while to get in there. And then he's coming in as well. And it's going to take him a second too. So we'll just leave him as is. You have no mission, huh? All right. Head back to base. You're going to build something. I should probably get that construction ship doing something. But what? Is there anything nearby I could... There's a lot of races in here. Including me, it looks like. Fast energy propulsion. This breakthrough provides new component velocity shard for our ships. Okay. That is great. Do I need to... I think the weapons automatically turn into... Um, velocity shards. I don't think I have to actually do anything with that. 
uh, Shadow Force lasers. Alright. These guys are not properly retrofitted, are they? I don't feel like they are. No, he's a Mark II. He is not properly retrofitted. What is going on? What did I do wrong? Vision B, Mark two is their name just staying this no they're a design mark three okay it's just their name that's going to keep stay like that that's fine uh but i thought i took the concussion missiles off and changed them for two epsilon territory map swap offered mm, yeah i gotta work on relations with you again yeah i thought that i changed that up i thought i changed the no, I did keep the concussion missiles. I could have sworn... I don't remember now. I don't remember. I thought I had two e uh, Epsilons on here, but maybe I changed it to the concussion missiles because range of 650. That cannot be right. Oh, boy. Firepower 102. Yeah, I guess I did keep it like this. Though I don't recall. Did maybe it turn into a... Or I'm sorry, I want to see the... I want to see all designs for a second. Go to my... Escorts, sort of like this. Ooh, that's a mess. Okay, revision beam mark 3. Mark 3, mark 3, revision B mark 3. How confusing. Where's the most expensive one? You are. You should be the most recent. Okay, it is that. And that's the older one, okay. I'm just going through and looking at all these. I'm just trying to get a feel for what I gave them. Yeah, I guess it was concussion missiles. I didn't remember that, but... Okay, we'll just keep them like it is then. Concussion missiles aren't bad. I got the 650, so they'll start firing way... Uh, way I just, for some reason, I thought I put torpedoes on there. So the ones that do have torpedoes, the designs that did... Which was... I don't know, how was this sorted? There we go. That's not how... It, okay, I'm probably not going to get it. There we go. Something like that. Okay, so, destroyer. And you have, you should have, you don't have velocity shards. So what I'm going to have to do is go back through the destroyer and forget and change that to velocity shards. Or actually just auto upgrade. And that should have done it. Yep, velocity shards. Okay, the only problem with that now is I have to go through and make sure. So I'm going to go through right now. I have to go through and make sure that these have the velocity shards, but they can still maintain them. So 158, uh, 16, 180. These are not going to cut it anymore. I'm going to have to stick another fission reactor on here until I get my upgraded one. Oh, which means I need more having life. This is getting very expensive very quickly. 108 for firepower. That's not bad, though. I'm just going to bite the bullet. We're at war right now. I can always maybe throttle these back, or I can always reduce my fleet if I need to. I don't know. Uh, they, I mean, it's not like it's not the end of the world. Ooh. Could be the end of the game, though. <laughs> Let's see. We'll keep that. Okay, so 158. 240 is more than going to cover that, even in sprint. Okay. Which means I definitely need to go into here now. All right, 133. I think this one was still okay. Yeah, 153. Um, not in sprint, but that's all right. Other than that, firepower of 142 is great. Yeah, so he's okay. We can leave him as is. Okay. Yep, so he's fine. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. And we've got velocity shards now, so that's great. So 
So I guess my research in weapons isn't going to be as spaced out as I liked it to be because I'm going to have to work on missiles a little bit just to uh, keep our escorts somewhat up to date. Or I might swap our escorts out for torpedoes. But torpedoes are so heavy and energy consuming that's just not worth it. Unless I'm going to have to eventually, I'm going to eventually want the plasma thunderbolts maybe. So i am probably just take this path and maybe put these on here because... Oh, and these, because that we're looking at an energy use of 60, as opposed to, oh no, these are actually lighter. Alright, I don't know, we'll figure it out, I guess. We're going for EMP defense right now, for our electronic warfare. What do I want to do next? Tractor beams aren't a bad idea. I do got to get my fighters eventually up there, I do want to get a carrier pushed out. Because I just really like carriers. I just like the thought of carriers. Half tempted to go with this, but that's going to cost me, let's see, the energy used is going to be the same. Damage increases though, range increases, speed increases, fire rate increases. So that's actually not a bad focus, so we'll go for that next. <clears throat> we can upgrade then, it won't cost us any extra energy. So I won't have to change anything around there. Because the biggest thing we've got to worry about is making sure that our nuclear supercharging hopefully gets in there after the damage control is done, which I gotta put these on as well. Constantly refitting, that's what this game is. You're playing a constant chasing game of refitting. And we refitted a lot the last like three episodes, it's been nuts. Got construction ships heading in there. Okay, if I'm above nine billion in population, I'm going to start raising my taxes. I am actually at 9.4 billion, so let's get our taxes up there, start pulling in some money so we can get an assault fleet out. I think that's the best bet. We'll go for 14, our happiness is at 37. We'll see where we sit in a minute with that. Cash flow. Okay, is that 3,000? So we're not making money yet. 30, though, so we can go higher. Let's go 20. See if we can pull some money in. There we go. Plus 1,000. That is not bad at all. It's actually at 24, so I could even go higher with that. Now, the growth is going to go down, but that's okay. Hmm. So we could actually go... 25. Just take a look. Okay, 15. Um, 6. There we go. That's a lot better. Recent space battle. Where was that? There was a space battle. Can I not go to the... I don't see anywhere where there's a battle. I wasn't informed that was under attack. Okay, near VP92 Asteroid Field. Poor tactician. Well, that's unfortunate, but he's definitely got to be in my homeworld defense fleet. So, space battle near VP92. He's got to be in here. They're all around there, too. All right. They're... Enemy ship must have came in this system. Probably just a... Could have just been an exploration ship or something that stumbled in here. Um, I doubt it was anything important. Just send them off to repair and refuel just in case. And money is not an issue anymore for the most part. So let's start... <clears throat> Now they're going to be less aggressive. If I remember correctly, their 12-year cycle actually made them more aggressive. Let's uh, start getting our defense fleet built up. Or not our uh, defense fleet, our assault fleet. Where am I going here? Is it not in here? Is it in the wrong? There we go. Alright. How do I want to stack this? I'm thinking... We'll get, we do want a couple escorts in this fleet, so I'm thinking, let's just roll with, it's going to be somewhat small at first, I'm thinking, ooh, yeah, I'm going to run out of available funds quickly. Okay, I changed my mind. Oh, did I, if I purchase it, can I not go back? Is it just immediately, immediately dip in the negatives and that's it? Because it didn't go back. I thought that it did, I guess not, okay. That's fine. We'll get two of those. I'll dip in the negative, but I'll bounce out of it pretty quickly. Or maybe not. No, I was just getting low to the negative, but I haven't dipped in it yet. Measured. Plus 10 diplomacy. Okay. 
not bad. And I haven't even looked at our intelligence agents. Is he done? He is. He did steal. What was he trying to steal? I must have missed that. Can I find that? Character promotion, critical research breakthrough in crash program for coordinated control. Good. Save us some money. He succeeded. Steel research. Continental colonization. That's right. That's right. I do remember that. So we're actually, yeah, that's right. Because we're actually going for these here. Okay. So what do we want to steal? What would we like to steal next? Something that I don't want to invest time researching in. Total energy acceleration. Maybe I can steal that. Let's see. We'll stick with the same people. See if they have it. If not, we'll just see what they do have. Nope. Just tractor beams. And I did mention that I wanted tractor beams. Um, but I'm actually going to go for enhanced hyperdrives. Ooh, hyperjump inhibiting. I actually need that. Let's see if I can steal that instead. Yeah, let's go for that instead. And we can throw those on our destroyers. That is a better idea. With a 93% success rate, I'm not too worried about it. The farther I fall behind in tech with other civilizations, the easier it gets to steal certain techs. Um... Can I take a look at these guys actually fleet? Can I actually look at their ships and see what they have? No. That would have been nice. God knows they're powerful. The size of their ships is up there pretty good. That's a transport ship. These are all troop transports. Where are they coming from? That is a capital ship. Oh boy. Size 722 though actually. Oh they're going somewhere. Can't see. Somewhere's down here. Oh, yeah. They got their fourth fleet. Oh, man. They're coming all the way down here. <laughs> That's going to take them a minute, actually. They're moving pretty slow. All right. Coordinate control's done. That's going to save us a little bit of money on maintenance cost there. That is great. What would be good next? I'm going to work on these, but after those, I'm definitely thinking we should... If I work on happiness, I can raise taxes. Increase happiness, increase taxes. <laughs> so maybe uh, work on these here. Because that's in the long run going to save me more money. Okay, were my escort ships completed? Just take a look and see. And mm, no, they're still being built. What am I lacking? I'm probably lacking something. We'll have to go into here to find... Or not here. Uh, where am I looking for? Here to find out. Let's take a look here. Oh, they just get built? gift okay oh six thousand credits yes money's really getting up there now where were they built i'm confused what is going on okay military ships no they're still waiting they're waiting on 14 so they are building they're just taking a minute but they are building how is my that's something i didn't even think about how is my cargo actually it's something to, to look at um it's not bad What am I what am I lacking? There's components. Lead. Lead is really low. Ca cast. Oh, that's not me. Okay. So So that's not me. I'm sorry. So lead's not low. Okay, I'm actually not sitting that bad. Uh the crystals, the necrostone, the cilia, that's the lowest for me. Uh, silicone, but it's at 11,000. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Everything else is really good. How am I on Castellan? 75? Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. I'm not sitting bad at all. Ah, 6,000 credits. I'm getting 33% <laughs> 
33,000 bonus income. Where did I... What did that come out of? Is that coming from my... No, spaceport income. A lot of people must be trading with me. Uh, that's that's a nice thing. When other empires go to war, they're going to come in and buy a lot of resources out because they need it to build their fleets up. So they're probably buying a lot of it from me because I'm pretty much untouched from the war so far. Okay, there they go. They're completed now. So now we can stick them in a fleet. Let's grab them up. We're going to do a new fleet. Third fleet is fine. Except we're going to go through now. i got to refresh the screen. We're going to change that to our first assault fleet. Okay. There we go. And we'll start building up a few more ships to throw in that fleet now that I've got a lot more money. So let's purchase ourselves a... Another great wonder constructed, not by me. Let's get ourselves a... Uh, let's go for two frigates now and one destroyer. It's going to take us a little bit. We'll just build it up over time. Actually. There. So that gives us one, two, three frigates, four frigates, two destroyers. Okay. There. That'll be plenty enough for what I want to do. I think that's going to really help out with firepower as well. If I can actually... Get into here and take a look. Uh, 1,200 plus whatever they roll out with, which will be significant. So I'll be around 2,000. I'll actually pretty pretty match with the people I'm at war at because they had like 3,000. Uh, the diodes were sitting around 2, and they were sitting around like 1 or 2,000 or something. So I'll be pretty matched with them, which will be good. More money. I'll always take money. And yeah, so... I think we're going to cut this episode off right here since we are out of time. I think we're leaving it off at a pretty good... Uh, pretty good stance right now we're finally starting to bounce back from some of the things that slowed us down near the beginning of the series uh we're getting an assault fleet out we got our troop transport ready to go uh take this planet i keep saying that we are going to take it soon though that's why i'm kind of excited to get in there and take it uh, i may start looking at some more mining stations to build now that my reach has increased and uh yeah things are looking really good so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i'll see you next time